Well, Dennis, I, I didn't get a chance to agree with any of you which of you would like to go next. So, um, so um, it's up to you. Do you? Yeah. You ready, Dennis? Yeah, sure. I've got that. Great. Thank um, you. I love the uh, question as the left stop thinking. The right question is when the left start Because what the left often does is confuse writing with thinking. And what is the point to say, sure, you mentioned uh, commentators from a deeply conservative establishment taking the garden, uh, and said they were all to the left. Otherwise, it's going to differ. But in tomorrow's The Wall, there's an interview with uh, Gordon Brown, which he asked the question, do you define yourself as a man of the left? I am considered as a man of the centre left. <laughs> <laughs> and the journalist describes the interview, Gordon Brown arrives, the man we have heard is in a lease with journalists, is actually affable, friendly and thoughtful. He brought all of our questions back to one thing, developing the knowledge economy in order to proceed to the globalised world. His simplicity and lack of grandeur are surprising. Direct to the point, he wears out his younger colleagues. Now, if I said all that, and this lot will be jeering, it's an independent French newspaper. Well, they won't be winning the Orwell Prize. <laughs> so, actually, the left, the right, I mean, Peggy said famously that when people say there's no more difference between the left and the right, I know exactly the political position of the person making that point. And I think that's true. In my short lifetime, I think we've seen the most incredible accomplishments of the left in terms of the liberation of so many nations from authoritarian rule, the liberation of women from hierarchical rule, the liberation of literally millions from conservative religious rule, uh, questions to do with race that are just literally unbelievable. We've still got people who can use the word Piccadillys as a joke. But for most of my generation, that racism is unacceptable. And things have been transformed. This very hall, looking out at the, today, a meeting of the left or the right, when I started out as a young journalist with great friends like Gene and Will in the 1970s, would have been just a face, a sea of white faces. It's changed incredibly dramatically. Has that happened as a result of conservatism? Of conservative thinking? I think not. Has it happened? as a result of world uh, forces? Yes, but then the question is, how do you read them? Do you roll out the red carpet for the bosses of apartheid uh, South Africa, as Mrs. Thatcher did, or do you express solidarity with Nelson Mandela and not describe him as a terrorist? Because the conservatives at each stage will choose the wrong line. Mrs. Thatcher famously, Greg, I don't know if this is one of your stories, was in a car with the senior officials who were banging on about Europe and the need for the Enlightenment. Suddenly she exploded and said, oh, it's one of Matthew's stories, it was a great autobiography. She, she said, Enlightenment, Enlightenment, why do we never hear about the Endarkenment? Um, and that really is the fundamental difference. At each stage, you have got a choice. We, I thought we were going to talk about the left globally, it was just narrowly about uh, labor. I'm, find myself perhaps in slightly thinner ice than I might wish it to be. Uh, but if I look at my own constituency of Rotherham, poor working class, uh, steel and coal workers, a decent town, 15 years ago, the jobs advertised at £1.50 an hour, the fact that people had to choose between heating and eating if they were pensioners, the fact that I could take you to a school proudly saying built in 1889. Now, the quality of life is not perfect, but it's been transferred immeasurably by things like the working family tax credit, winter fuel credits, we re rebuilt every new school. Most cars now are newish. There's a new airport flying, a million people, that's a huge carbon footprint problem. But my constituents, for the first time in their lives, have the freedom and liberty to travel that conservatives have always taken for granted. I think that's because we've had a social democratic government in power. Leszek Kolokowski once said, what is social democracy? is the patient, stubborn amelioration of problems in the world. Sorry, that's not dramatic. It's not a big idea. I was with Ken Morgan, Kenneth Morgan, the uh, biographer of many Labour Prime Ministers, Callahan, Attlee, and Lee Wilson, but, but more recently, the doyen of sort of traditional Labour historians of the weekend, having a drink. He's a lovely guy. And he said, oh, this government's not going to go to our right, but it's much better, you know, when you had 
quite giant geniuses like Tony Crossland and, um, and, and uh, um, uh, Richard Crossman and, uh, and all those sort of big, big intellectual names, Hugh Dawn. And I said, yes, Ken, but why do they keep losing elections? So maybe actually the left has become stupid in an intellectual sense. It's not smart. It doesn't write elegant columns. We surrender that territory to Matthew and Polly and, and Seamus and David and all of them. And let them write their columns away. We'll focus on gently helping make this country, perhaps the world, a better place. We'll do it by embracing reality, not pretending Europe doesn't exist, but saying we engage with Europe. As Sarko said today, it was fascinating. He said the European Union is the best thing that's happened in humanity, the humanity of Europe. You should have seen conservative peers and one or two conservative colleagues sitting on their hands as this horrid truth was read out. I actually am very enthusiastic for Europe, but I'm happy to lots of difficulties with it. That is a project. So today's left, I think, is a melange of classic left and all the problems Craig described and Matthew described, I share in part. It's liberalism, it's radicalism, it's Kolokovskyism to try to make the place just a little bit better uh, than one inherited it. Not heroic stuff, not poetry stuff. I'm afraid the left used to do poetry, now we do plumbing. I hand it over to all the other right-wing poets on the platform. <laughs>